Hey loves, happy Halloween. Um, so it's been a while since I've done any type of hair tutorial or really anything. So I've just been crazy busy, like I said in my last video. But I wanted to bring you a look. Last time I did the uh, wet roller set or pillow set or whatever you'd like to call it. Um, and like I said, that set I can use for um, up to a week, just depending on if I'm rolling them every night and sleeping on the rollers and things like that. But now I wanted to come back and show you what to do with these rollers that are now in your hair and how to style them. Um, I'll first show you, this is pretty much a go-to for me anytime I'm doing like a pinup contest or a photo shoot or anything like that just because I've got it so down pat and I don't have to worry about it or work on it. This is just my go-to. Um, which is like my brushed out roller set and then I form it to make sort of like a poodle like um, with the hair. So for this look the items that you will need are as far as brushes I always use this is my wet brush, um, but this is also this is more than just a wet brush. This is a it's called a wet shine brush, and what it has is these like boar bristles in it. So, and boar bristles are really good at smoothing out the hair and all the flyaways and baby hairs and things like that. So, I always use this when I'm brushing out my curls because with a lot of wet sets you always tend to get frizz and things like that so I try and use as much as I can to keep those flyaways down. I also use for teasing a teasing brush. Um, you could use a teasing comb, you could just use a comb or a brush, it's just whatever you feel comfortable teasing with. I again use this for smoothing as well because as you can see it's also boar bristles which smooths out the hair. Um, it's just better for the hair in general. Then you will need some duckbill clips. Um, you can get these again, Sally's. Uh, the wet brush you can get, you can find a wet brush now at like Target, but the wet shine brush I think you might be able to find at places like TJ Maxx or Burlington, Marshalls. Uh, you could order it online. I got mine, I want to say, from Cosmo Prof. They might have it at Sally's. They probably should. Duckbill clips get from Sally's. Um, and then I might, depending on however my hair wants to go, I might use either some of these like double prong duckbill clips or pin curl clips or the single prong, just depending on what my hair wants to do today. Uh, some bobby pins. I don't feel I need to show them. <laughs> dry shampoo. Um, and I'll actually talk about my dry shampoo in a second. I typically, if I am re-rolling the roller set um, in between the week, I spray the hair with the dry shampoo before rolling it for the night. That way, as I'm sleeping on it, it's just absorbing that oil so much better. Um, or you could just undo your curl rollers and spray it on. It just depends on what you want to do with that. Um, hairsprays. This is not hairspray. Hairsprays, I like to have a workable hairspray and then a stronger hold hairspray. I might even have the other one right here. Perfect. So this is... Velour by Beauty and Penups. I heard a rumor that unfortunately these are not going to be at Cosmo Prof anymore as far as the East Coast, which I'm at, Virginia. They're, it's thriving in the West Coast, obviously, because that's where all the pinup hair is, but I'm sure you could find it online or just any type of. I like this is the Velour with Beauty and Penup. I like to use this as a workable hairspray. You don't want your workable hairspray to be like a strong hold hairspray because as you're working and like brushing and teasing and things like that, that strong hold hairspray is going to build up and it's going to flake and it's going to do all these crazy things or just it's going to overwork the hair. It's going to get that crunchy like helmet hair and you can't work with that because 
it, it's essentially kind of weighing down the hair, oiling down the hair, and it's just, you want a lightweight, something you can work with, but it's still going to give you that hold as you're teasing and brushing and things like that. And then you want your strong hair, hold hairspray. I also have the Suavecita Stronghold Hairspray. Their hairspray pretty much is a Stronghold Hairspray. I would not use it as a workable one. This we have in my job at Bombshell. Um, there's not that much in here, so I'm probably going to use this first and let it run out and then see what goes on. And a workable wax or pomade. I just have this. I use this because I got this at uh, Miss Rockabilly Ruby's uh, vintage hairstyling class. So... But this works, anything just with like either a wax or like a pomade type of feel to it. You could use the Swap Seat to Pomade, carry that a bombshell. Um, anything that's going to just get rid of frizz and flyaways. Because like I said, with a wet set, you're going to have a lot of those. Alright, and so we start. I actually have been at work all day. Uh, so I will just be... I went to work just like this, super simple, super easy, you can work with rollers still in your head, like, the bandana just keeps it all tied up together. I didn't have this one in, I just put this in for the video, but, um, so we just get this off, get my other bobby pins, and I may or may not use the bobby pins, it just depends. So take the bandana off, you're not going to need that. And then we start, I just take out each roller, and it doesn't, you could be really careful if you feel like your hair doesn't hold curl well. My hair doesn't hold curl well because it's so fine, but I just throw them and take them out. And typically what I'll do is I'll lean my head over, and then I'll just kind of, take my rollers out with my hair forward that way I can get some type of height to it but it really doesn't matter however you want to do it is fine but we just take all of these out so while I'm doing this the pin up contest was amazing I I'm very proud of who won I actually met Miss Frida Cheeks who is now our current Miss Pin Up RVA 2017. Um, I met her at the Rockabilly Weekend in Vegas last April. Um, she is re well, she's a prodigy and like best friends with this girl, uh, Empress Dynasty, who's a big burlesque performer out here in Richmond, Virginia. And um, she was also one of the judges who crowned me the first Miss Pinup RVA 2016. So I saw online that she was in Vegas, and I went to Vegas by myself. Um, so I was looking for anyone I could possibly, like, meet up with and talk to and just hang out with. And I met up with her, and that's how I met Frida. And she is just such a sweetheart, very nice, very... Um, knowledgeable about the pinup lifestyle, pinup hair, a lot about pinup clothing. Like, they both are very into the whole, because M, M works at Bygones, which is a vintage store here in Richmond in Carytown. Um, and she works there, but I think she was also going to work at another vintage store somewhere else before having her own life come at her fast. But, um, they know a lot about clothing, which I actually don't know that much about pinup clothing. I kind of more focused on the hair aspect of it and everything else I got either from like, uh, like thrift shops or even some things, honestly, some of my more basic kind of pinup, um, staples I get from Amazon just because true pinup, I don't think it should matter, like, what designer you have or what type of pinup line you are wearing. I don't think it should matter how much your clothes cost because if you watch anything with Dita on it, she says that she just started wearing vintage just because in the 90s she couldn't afford name brand clothing. 
So she just started shopping vintage because she had no money and she would just go to secondhand shops and find things that fit her and that's how she did it. It wasn't because she was online ordering things. Like things like that didn't really exist then, not really. And so, okay, so I have my hair, I took the rollers out and so you have it kind of like this Shirley Temple-esque looking thing. I'm gonna leave that one in there because with my bang going forward, I'm gonna work on it a little, meh. Actually, I might take it out. You can leave it in, you can take it out, you can take your hair out and then fluff them up and then take the roll other rollers out. It really doesn't matter. You can do it however you find your own way, find easiest for you. This is just how I do it. So, and it changes daily. I am going to run my fingers through these curls and just kind of use my fingers first to break them up, just kind of fluff them out. And be careful not to pull your hair out, because with my, oh, yes, I am now a redhead again, which I'm sure my hair is blending right into my orange curtain beautifully, but... I went and I had my hair done with Carissa, who I'd spoke of before. She's at Bombshell at the Southside location, and she is phenomenal and one of my best friends, so of course I love her. But she's very talented. We just kind of wanted to do like a dark copper root going into a lighter copper, so it's kind of like an ombre effect. And with fall and everything coming up and Halloween pumpkins, hello. <laughs> that and Lucille Ball because she's a very phenomenal lady who, I mean, yeah, I guess she's big, but she's not as big as I feel like she should be. She was on television, a female on television at a time that females were not on TV. Yes, she was doing comedy, but I mean, she, that was the first avenue. Like, women didn't go on television like that. Not at that time. Alright, so we've done this. We've broken up these curls, and now what I'm going to do is take my wet brush with the boar bristles, because wet brushes are very gentle on the hair already. We're just going to break up and fluff these curls even more. I'm gonna make this. We actually wanna make it, once we fluff them up and break it up some more, we're gonna wanna make this all as big as possible. Make it as crazy and as frizzy and as big as you possibly can. Because do not fear the frizz, that is where the pomade or wax comes into play. So make it all types of big, big craziness. I'm wearing my Halloween accessories because it is coming up. I'm not sure when I'll post this video, but right now it is Friday night before Halloween, which will be on a Tuesday this year. And I cannot wait. We have to dress up at work tomorrow, so I'm probably gonna be Probably Batgirl. She's a redhead. I'm a redhead. It all works out. Alright, so once you have it as big as you can make it, we're now going to take that wax or pomade and you can, anytime anyone uses pomade or wax, I always tell them when I'm selling it to people, a little bit goes a long way. I like to glide my finger in this way since I have fake nails. I don't want to get it all stuck under my nail. So I take like about that much, maybe like a dime-ish amount, and I put it through my fingers. This stuff, the Kinra products all smell amazing. This smells like, like a watermelon starburst. So it's really nice. Um, also, Suavecita Pomade, that, one of their biggest, like, selling points is that it smells like strawberries. And we're just gonna focus mainly on, like, up here, because that's where you're gonna get the most flyaways, and then down here. And don't worry about putting it over your curl and kind of, like, flattening out your curl with the product going through your hands, just because, like, 
these curls, you slept on them, they're not going anywhere. Wet sets are the best because you can move your hair any which way. You can run your fingers through it, do whatever. These curls are not going anywhere. So do not worry. It's not the same as a curling iron. Like you have dried these curls in. They, like I said, I can get these, these roller sets to last me an entire week. And even like some nights if I sleep and I don't, I'm not good and I don't roll my hair back up the way I should, it still falls out into a nice like wave or curl pattern still going on. So don't worry. Um, we're probably going to use this later as we work on things. And now, oh, I'm going to, eh, I already sprayed mine last night, but... Before you put the wax on, you probably should spray the dry shampoo in because it absorbs the oils, things like that. Gives you more volume. But always with dry shampoo, spray away, like about this far from where you're going to do it. Do not spray it directly on it. What this is, any type of dry shampoo spray, mostly they're like an oil spray and it's absorbing the oils. So if you spray it too close, you're going to have a white spot on your head because you need the distance so it can kind of like air on to it um some people like powders that's fine you can use a dry shampoo powder where you lift it up and just kind of sprinkle it in i don't like this because i feel like the spray is just easier for me but it's whatever you want to do some people don't even need dry shampoo i know rockabilly ruby like refuses to wear it so whatever you want to do now we're going to get the teasing teasing brush and then duckbill clips so for this look I mean and with the roller set too I'll probably do other tutorials on just basic like throughout the week doing different styles with it this isn't actually the first day this is like the second day that I've had this set so I'm going to do something more form like more um I'm <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Not flowy and kind of run your finger, fingers through. This is going to be very plastered down and like helmety hair. So I would not recommend this for your first, first time with the roller set if you're trying to make a week event of it. But this is just what I'm going to teach first because it's definitely my most popular go-to hairstyle I have. So we're going to smooth out from pretty much the front of the head, like to the ears, um, this hole in the back area to the ears, leave the bang alone. Um, yeah, even if you don't have an actual, actual bangs, you should always have something in the front here because if you just have this, that's not going to look cute. You need something up there. So we smooth this whole area out. And now, this is where the duckbill clips come in handy. You take behind, right at the ear and go down with it. And same on this side. You could tease back here if you wanted, like in the crown area. Some girls like to do that. I don't, that's just me. Maybe it's because I don't really have that much time in the morning when I'm doing this to put more dick pill clips in the back. It's all just personal preference. I don't like my hair too high yet. Who knows? Could change. And then you can either, if this is, all right, so this is what I do. When I'm doing it, I want to make it as big and as poodly and as fluffy as possible. So I take out like a curl or whatever and I do with my fingers these three just kind of push up starting in the middle and then I go down with it so essentially I'm teasing with my fingers and if you wanted you could even just use the if you don't feel comfortable doing that do this start in the middle and go up now with teasing just make sure you're always, you're making like a C motion or like a scooping type of motion. Never go back and forth because if you go back and forth, you're going to be combing out the T's that you're putting in. So you want to make sure you're always going up with it. Never going just back and forth, like up, up, up. And see, that's going to make it this big old crazy thing. But don't worry if it's big and it's crazy and it's frizzy because 
we will take care of that with the workable hairspray. So just make it as big and just go around the entire head with it. Just kind of fluffing up these curls, making them bigger and bigger and bigger. This is the style we did on Deanna Danger this year during the pinup contest. My mentor and I, Tiziana at Bombshell, we did her hair like this and it was, she's got much longer hair than mine so it was big and glorious. I loved it. So once you have it as big or as little as you want it, you can. Now we will get the Velour Workable Hairspray and kind of spray it all around these curls and then we'll mold it because this hairspray is what is going to do the trick and make these curls not so super crazy. And I like to do section by section, like I'm doing my side right now, focusing on this right side to get, make sure your hair is not stuck to your spider earring that you have because you didn't think to take out your big long earrings before you did this big fluffy thing. You just kind of mold everything into place. Now I'm going to go to this left side, spray the bells out of it, and don't be surprised, I always like to keep some makeup wipes handy or like a wash, wa wet washcloth around because as you do these pinup hairstyles, you're going to get hairspray on your neck and like your back. People always ask me, why are you wiping your neck? Um, I have a lot of hairspray in. And I'll get the back a little bit while I'm here. And just mold it all together. Probably gonna have hairspray all over my phone by the end of this. That's always how it works. When I do my hair in the morning, I try and like flip my phone over, keep it away. That way I don't get like that like gross, like sticky feeling on my phone of like just hairspray galore. All right. And then when you get it, eh, let's do the back one more time. You should always like use a mirror too and check the back of your hair like put the mirror in front of you Or have yeah have a mirror in front of you get like a handheld mirror turn around look at it Look from all angles make sure it's perfect because the world will see all of it says Dita In her book your beauty mark she says Make sure sorry. I'm trying not to breathe in this hairspray <laughs> She says, make sure to always, you know, check your hair from every single angle because the world is not just looking at your face. The world, when you go out in public, is looking everywhere. And this is why I'm using the workable hairspray, it's just so I can still, like... Alright, and now that I've sprayed with the workable hairspray, I'm just going to let that set for a minute. And make sure when you spray too, you get all around and underneath of your hair. So it's like not, it's really just firm on all angles. I'm a little lopsided. Oh well. Could have made this side bigger, but it's fine. Now we're going to focus on the bangs. And now we get back our teasing brush and start to tease all of that going again up and do another section 
tease. Well, teasing going down. And now the last section. And get it all nice and big, beautiful. Spray it with the working spray. And not too much, but. And now with this, I brush this kind of forward using my hand to like keep that kind of height to it. But I want to make sure these ends and the outside is smooth. But don't don't brush it too hard. And I'm really bad about that. You do not want to brush the T's out. And you just kind of want to smooth it, like get the outer layers, not that inner layer. And I, sometimes I'll do a roll. That's why I have the bobby pin, since I just kind of see how the bang is going to lay. But what a lot of people like to do is get one of these duckbill clips and just kind of place it in like that so you get that height and security and then they like flip and mess with the rest of it that's actually going pretty good probably because it was like chilling all day it wasn't really in a roller all day so it kind of just wants to like behave and do its own thing and it doesn't have a dent in it those are always the worst now we'll spray and now honestly that's like pretty much the main look you can always get more of your wax or pomade and get those fine-tuned little areas like these flyaways I always get right here at my part you just kind of put everything down, down, down into place. You can get a couple that are in your bangs. And now, should be good. I'm going to take out my clips. I didn't even need any small ones. <laughs> take out the clips. And if you ever have any type of crease mark, you can always like smooth it out with the brush but with since mine with the poodle I don't really like the creases aren't that noticeable just be careful as you take them out you don't pull out your poodle completely and mess it up now the clips do become very noticeable when you get into things like vintage waves and stuff like that but with this little poodle it's very forgivable that's why I stick to it you don't have to it's not so perfect you don't have to worry as much with it and I'm gonna leave that one in for height still and now you get your stronghold hairspray like I said I'm gonna use this until this is out all right still something coming out you just go over the entire head with it you literally want your hair to be a helmet and if I had great electricity out here in the garage which is where I live, if I had better electricity before I was inside, typically I go inside and I always get the hair dryer and just kind of set, especially the poodle in place, especially under the head. Um, and I do it on high heat, low, low air. Um, and I just set kind of everything and that really molds it and breaks it down. But I don't have that, so we're working with what we have. Now I understand why famous YouTubers have like a voiceover. It's because they don't want to get hairspray in their mouth as they're talking. All right, I think that's about out. But basically just keep on spraying until it is as hard and helmety. Oh yeah, this is very helmety. And the bottom's good. This is good. And now we'll just take that little clip out. Make sure it's all nice. And here is the final look. And now I actually have a tutorial finish going on. So this is my go-to poodle look and how I achieve it. And like I said, like it's not going, it's not going anywhere. 
Um, I'm probably going to have to re-roll it again for tomorrow for work. But other than that, you just take care of it um, and it'll do well. And even, so typically throughout my weeks, I'll do like a roller set. The first night will have like kind of looser waves. I don't want to put a lot of product in them yet. And then throughout the week, I get to things like this um, or waves. Uh, and then I like to end off the week typically in like an updo. And for those nights, I don't typically sleep in a roller set just because that's way... It's too much and you don't need it. If you're doing like the big like classic poodle like on the top of your head, you don't. Or even like I do like a cheap poodle where I do the big back here and I like do a roll or something with my bangs or something. Something with the bangs or wear a bandana. Bandana save your life. Uh, nylon save your life. So please leave me any comments, questions you have. I want some requ requests for new videos. Please, please give me these. Um, and go make sure you subscribe to my channel and let me know everything you want to know and see. And I will work as quickly as I can to bring them to you. Alright, love. See you next time.